A very wet fall, plenty of snow water content, and a quick melt this spring combined to make the longest north flowing river in the U.S. a danger to communities along its banks. The water has risen enough that even the base of this monument marking the headwaters of the Red River of the North has been covered up. The Boys de Sioux River and the Otter Tail River joined together to form the Red River of the North and at, at that confluence there's a, a lot of problems with water slowing. Team members from the Corps of Engineers St. Paul District quickly engaged contractors to shore up protection for valley communities on both sides of the river in Minnesota and North Dakota. Temporary emergency levees are being constructed in nearly a dozen cities. We have excellent sources of clay to build our uh, temporary emergency levees with. Uh, they go in much quicker than sandbag levees and they're mu they uh, allow le a lot less seepage than a sandbag uh, levee. Used for a number of flood events, these clay levees give engineers more elevation and length in less time and with less manual effort. But the clay dikes can't be employed everywhere they're needed. So residents resort to sandbagging to cover other vulnerable areas. National Weather Service officials don't expect the river to top last year's record crest. Rapidly changing weather conditions, though, make crest predictions a moving target that has flood officials watching but not waiting. Here in Oakport, Minnesota, core contractor crews are working around the clock to construct three and a half miles of levee to an elevation of 40 feet. Overall, core construction efforts call for more than 20 miles of temporary emergency levees at varying elevations. Jay Field, Breckenridge, Minnesota.